This is a child that has a brachial plexus injury. A brachial plexus injury is an injury that occurs to the nerves and to the muscles that are in the shoulder, shoulder blade, and all the way down to the tips of her fingers. These activities that we're going to be doing are going to be trying to encourage weight shifting over to her affected side. We're going to be working on pushing and pulling activities. So in this segment, we are having her sit in a ring that is pushing her weight over to her left side, which is her affected side. I am shifting her weight so that she has to use her trunk more to balance. Here we are pushing. Pushing and pulling activities are very important because they help strengthen up the shoulder blade and the shoulder. And you need to have a strong shoulder for the arm to be able to move better. As much weight bearing as you can get into the affected side, the better. With her left arm, she tends to collapse, so we'll give her lots of opportunities to be leaning over onto it and to be crawling under and over objects. Obstacle courses are great things to do with children of these age because they like to build and they like to construct new activities. So having her crawl over uneven surfaces and to be able to push and pull them into place help encourage strengthening and also use of two hands together. As much as you can try and help shift the weight over onto the affected side, the better. It's very difficult to slow down a toddler of this age, but as much as you can hold on to that affected side and bring the weight over through movement, the more that she will be taking weight through that arm and getting strength built up in the shoulder blade. So in this activity, we're working on an uneven surface. So Hannah is having to balance her weight and shift her weight from left to right, which makes her have to keep her balance through her trunk and through her legs. And now we're going to be trying to encourage her to use that left arm to reach up and over her head. And I am stabilizing her lower trunk here so that she doesn't bend her back too far back because that's a compensation that they use in order to try and get higher clearance of their arms. Here we're working on protective extension with her arm. When these children fall, they tend to not get their arms out in front of them, so she needs to learn how to be able to keep those hands up while she's coming forward in a forward jump. Here we're working on a scooter board activity. This is just another way for her to get her hands down on the floor and to be moving them. For her to be able to open containers means that she's using both hands together and pulling in opposite directions. So this is a great two-handed activity. This way she will incorporate the left side into her right activity and this will help with motor learning and strengthening. So everyday activities of play are very important to continue to keep her using that affected side with pushing, pulling, and manipulation tasks. Using a variety of different tools will help her to be able to keep interested in the activity and also having to use two hands for rolling out and for squeezing. Cookie cutters are always a good choice with Play-Doh because they have to use two hands for them. Rolling and making little objects you can see how she's able to use that left hand in conjunction with the right. Using a vertical surface such as a wall is very good because it means that she's going to put her left arm up at shoulder height and try and keep that arm elevated. Having her arm up at shoulder height is very important because that will help strengthen up the shoulder blade muscles. So using any kind of an easel or putting paint on a wall or putting paper with tape up on a wall so she can color on that is a good idea for increasing that movement. Baby said, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.